Hello there, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to take a look at an opinion essay. After this essay, I suggest watching lesson 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, first things first. Introduction. Essential questions. What is an opinion? What is an opinion writing? Where do we see examples of opinion writing in our everyday lives? So, first question. What is an opinion? According to dictionary.com, is a view or judgment formed about something, not necessarily based on fact or knowledge. According to Merriam Webster, a belief based on experience and on seeing certain fact. So, what is an opinion writing? When you need to write an opinion essay, you will be trying to convince or persuade the reader of your own opinion or belief. You'll be naturally taking a position for or against a topic. Examples in our everyday lives. We have billboards, as you can see, we have books or movie reviews and commercials or advertisement. So what is the purpose of opinion writing? For example, to support a cause or create change or call people to action or persuade people to agree with you. So let's go over some examples. Purpose 1. Support a cause. For example, please donate money to save penguins. Poor penguin. Purpose number 2. Create change. For example, we should be responsible for our environment. Purpose number 3. Call people to action. For example, book your adventure trip now. Purpose number four, persuade people to agree with you. The best kind of food is sushi. Mmm. So parts of opinion writing essay. We have an introduction with a thesis statement at the end. Then we have a body or two or three body paragraphs. And then we have a conclusion. At the beginning of a conclusion, you need to restate your thesis. So for this, you need to watch lesson 1, 2, 3, and 4. So what makes an opinion as a topic successful? Well, you have strong feelings about a topic. Or you have prior knowledge on the topic. And you can easily find support for your arguments. So examples of good topics. Should students wear uniforms to school? Should students be allowed to use translators? Should students be allowed to use smartphones in school? How much homework should be given daily? Should smoking and vaping be banned everywhere? Your turn. We use search engines every day to find quick information. Are they making us less smart? Explain your opinion on whether Google is making us less intelligent. Write one paragraph. Be prepared to share. Hmm. So, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you like the lesson, click on the like button and you may share the lesson if you liked it. Until next time, bye-bye.